Hello, our action comes to you from the English Midlands, from the King Power Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. It's Leicester City, and they take on Tranmere Rovers. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Yannick Vestergaard plays alongside Johnny Evans in central defence. Oh, can he finish it here, Derek? Well, an attempt to forget all about, unfortunately. Yeah, got it all wrong, trying to pass it into the corner, opened up his body, but didn't make the right sort of contact. This could be dangerous. Did well to win the ball back. Well, the term wily customer is often overused in football, but I do think it applies to Jamie Vart. Must take the lead here. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Dennis Pryat. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. And you don't want to lose possession there. Oh, breezing past him. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. And there's been a change to the scoreline in the City game. Alex Scott has the news. It's a goal from Manchester City. They've scored the opener here with 11 minutes on the clock. Now jumping in because this could be promising for them. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the action underway again, and certainly the onus is on Leicester to come up with a reply here. Making a bit of headway. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Succeeded in keeping it in play. He's going forward well here. Oh, what an opportunity. And a goal! A quick one too. And they've turned this game on its head. Well, I don't think he did quite enough there. He got a touch on it, but in the end, he can't keep it out. He won't be happy with that. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Far from a good pass. Vardy. The crossbar on a time for composure on the ball well how did that not go in it was a great effort you have to say but it should boost their confidence but they can't afford to drop their guard at the other end and he's broken free another goal and surely there's no way they can throw this away absolutely dominant
Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect, but really the goalkeeper should never be exposed that easily. Great team goal, but woeful defending. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Nicely timed tackle. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball and they've made good use of it. They really oh, have Oh, wait a minute. They could well be in. Well, didn't seem to be too much in that offside decision. Nicely cut out. Seemingly cannot keep hold of the ball here. Can he find the right pass? Well, disappointing end to the move. And the counter looks on here. Options available. They need to get bodies back. Pratt. He's lost it. This attack looks highly promising. And would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Well, sloppy in possession. Vardy. Harvey Barnes. Oh, fine stop. And he's fired over the corner. Well, still an issue here. Hamza Chowdhury. Vardy. It could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Trying to pick out a teammate. Very quick thinking there. Pratt. And that is going to be a free kick. Well, the referee produces the red card, an obvious one, Stuart. Well, they'll need to reorganise quickly here. He really has let them down with that challenge. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Well, we certainly know how explosive Jamie Vardy can be, but he's been kept quiet so far. Yeah, he's not played well, has he? He's just failed to have an impact here. Mind you, I think we could say that about the whole team. He just hasn't looked like scoring today. He quartered the attack illegally. Now, perhaps a card is forthcoming. Well, it is a caution, and stay calm might be the instructions that should come from the manager. Yeah, you're absolutely right. If they're not careful, they're going to lose another player fairly soon. And time is up as far as the first half is concerned. And off and running again, there was a real gulf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from Leicester in the second? Well, they might be onto something. He's in position. A goal! He's dispatched it! Much to the...
the sheer delight of the fans. So back underway at 3-1. Rudolf unable to get himself back onside here well he was always going to be offside that was the wrong option and space here on the flank Chowdhury now with Pereira terrific block being pressed and pressed high. Couldn't keep it. Can he play it in? Ricardo Pereira. Now can they counter clinically? Oh, lovely incisive pass. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Time for a change then. It's a short corner. And still trying to get the shot off. And there it is! Three goals in front now. An immense performance. Well, let's look at this again. And the keeper just lost his bearings there. He was never in the right position. He won't want to see that again. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. He's found a pocket of space. And he saw the situation developing. And news of a goal at Goodison Park. Alex Scott has the details for us. Yep, it's a goal for Everton. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 60 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Really good challenge. Spence. Oh, that's magnificent goalkeeping. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Nicely timed tackle. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Alexe. Running with the ball confidently. And using his body to good effect. Just to let you know, the club shop is open after today's game. That is how to apply the pressure. Well, he's lost the ball. Now, who can he play it to? Well, it was caught nicely enough, but the fact of the matter is it wasn't on target. Well, they've decided to make a change. And a strong tackle. Alexei. And they need to get tighter here. Giving it a try. And a fine stop. Who can they pick out?
Firing it towards goal. Rifled against the post, but back in play. Not a time for cool heads. Well, they won't come much closer than that. It's a matter of inches from being a really good goal. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. Good technique displayed. He's in here. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. And he needs to get it out of there. Just 10 minutes to go. Well, the crowd is certainly not happy. Their team is being totally outplayed here. They're just being passed around far too easily. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Well, he's certainly not alone. Oh, good work by the keeper. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And played short. Shown inside. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really good bit of play. Watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish. That's a top-class goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Harvey Barnes. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Vardy in position. Second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Goal for the Foxes, number eight, Yuri Tillemans. Well, there to intercept. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the...